from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar, I am your host Pratiksha and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of these stories that will offer you a glimpse into India's culture, diversity and the developments happening in and around the world. Hathi Ghoda Pal Ki, Jai Kanhaya Lal Ki. Let's embark on a colourful adventure of Janmashtami, the day that is recognised as Lord Krishna's birthday throughout the nation. Lord Sri Krishna is the eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Let's walk you through the significance of the festival and how the celebration of Krishna's birthday is turned into a grand fiesta. Have a look. Vasudev Shri Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead who embodies all divine qualities and possesses infinite benevolence for his devotees. Shri Krishna is known for his charming personality and the divinity he ensues in his every disciple. Janmashtami is the birthday of the most beloved God, Shri Krishna. Among Hindus, it is the occasion for the magnificent celebrations. The followers of Lord Shri Krishna observe fast and honour the Lord by organising bhajan kirtans on this day. The celebrations run for the whole day and the night. जन्माष्टमी जैसे हम लोगों का तो बहुत ही बड़ा मतलब ये श्री कृष्ण की जन्मभूमि है ही है ये भारत हमारी मेरे राम जी की श्री कृष्ण की जन्मभूमि है तो जन्माष्टमी यहाँ पर बहुत धूमधाम से पाला जाता है हम सुबह से व्रत रखते हैं और रात को 12 बजे जैसे कि जन श्री कृष्ण का जन्म जो है कि रात के बारह बजे के बाद होता है उसके बाद घर में जैसे पूजा पाठ करके व्रत तोड़ते हैं और यहाँ पर जैसे हमारे राम मंदिर में इसकन मंदिर में जो भी सब आते हैं दर्शन करके जाते हैं और बाल गोपाल जी को पूरा हम सजा के घर में भी जो छोटे छोटे बच्चे होते हैं उनको भी राधा और कृष्ण की तरह सजा के एक कृष्ण का जन्मदिन पालन होता है एट मिड नाइट व्हिच इज नोन एज द ट्रेडिशनल आर ऑफ हिज बर्थ द डेविटीज टेक टर्न्स टू स्विंग द ब्यूटीफुली डेकोरेटेड क्रेडल ऑफ द बिलवेड लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण एंड सीक हिज ब्लेसिंग्स द होल एटमॉस्फेयर गेट्स फिल्ड विद प्रेयर्स एंड चांस ऑफ हाथी घोड़ा पाल की जय कन्हैया लाल की टू हेल द बर्थ ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड Shri Krishna Janmashtami is also named Shri Jayanti, Gokila Ashtami or Shri Krishna Jayanti in different parts of the country. बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है और काफी भीड़ यहां पे है। जन्माष्टमी त्योहार बहुत अच्छा है। यहां पे होली पिछली बार में होली में आए थे। अब किन जो है जन्माष्टमी देखने के लिए सब कृष्ण जी और राधा मैया की जो है मेहरबानी उनका सौभाग्य है जो दर्शन उनके हुए आज। during the festival, the temples are decorated with lights and flowers to welcome the Lord of Love. The childhood idol of Sri Krishna is embellished with brand new shining attire, a jewel studded crown and other decorations. For the devotees, it is a scene to behold for their lifetimes. Sweets are given to the devotees in the form of blessings and sacraments after being offered to the Supreme Lord. ये बहुत बड़ी सौभाग्य की बात है कि उनके जन्मदिन पे उनके जन्मस्थल पर है और इतना सुंदर माहौल है इतना सब अच्छा है उत्साह का उत्साह और उत्सव का माहौल बना हुआ है भक्तों में भी और यहाँ के सब लोगों में भी तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है यहाँ during this festival, another event is Dahi Handi, which depicts the childhood days of Lord Krishna when he would notoriously build a human pyramid to reach the pot filled with milk butter, his favourite delicacy. During Dahi Handi, a group of young boys make a human pyramid to get to the butter pot hung at a certain height and the youngest member among them would break the delicious butter pot. It is a kind of sport in several towns, cities and hamlets in India, where a lot of teams enroll themselves to participate in Dahi Handi. 
The winners get the prize money or trophies for their performances. The life story of Lord Shri Krishna is an inspiration for millions of people around the world and offers a comprehensive system of spiritual knowledge and self-realization. Let's now move to the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, which is known for its rich art and cultural heritage. Today we take you to mesmerizing opera show performed by Hindu Kashmiri artisans in Srinagar. The thrilling performance not only promoted the region's rich art and culture, but created a sense of unity and brotherhood. Let's have a look. Kashmir is not only known for its scenic beauty, but it is admired for its artistic treasure and folklore. For centuries, the art and culture in the region strengthened the bond between the Hindus and the Muslims. A group of Hindu Kashmiri artists from RMK Arts and Research Foundation in collaboration with Kashmir Academy of Art, Culture and Languages showcased opera or a musical drama in Srinagar. The show was titled Waktuk Partav or Shadows and Blessings of Time. The purpose of this opera was to show the brotherhood and unity among the people along with highlighting the importance of composite cultures of Kashmir. This show is what we are taking here in Kashmir. This is in the Kashmiri language. And in this opera, you will get to see music, dance, drama. All the artists have worked very hard. This is the Kashmiri language. 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 This is the an opera has a story, dialogue, music and songs. Only the dialogues are written in poetry. Opera in Kashmir was introduced by Dinanath Nadim. The history of Kashmir opera begins with Bomburta Yimbirzil, which Nadim Sahab wrote in 1952. It was Padmashri Motilal Saki who continued the tradition of opera in Kashmiri. Saki's first opera was Hayatan Ziyun, which was first broadcasted and later staged at Srinagar. Due to the exodus of Kashmiri pandits from Kashmir in 1989 to 90, the performance of opera got affected. It is now being revived and plays a significant role in promoting peace and brotherhood in the Kashmir Valley. सबसे पहले मैं मुबारकबाद पेश करना चाहता हूँ इसके आर्गनाइजर को जो जम्मू से क्योंकि हमारा जो तहजीब और तमदुन है जो हमारा संस्कृति है जो हमारा विरसा है उसको हमें मिलके क्योंकि ये सारे लोग जो जम्मू से कश्मीरी पंडित भाई हमारे आए जिन्होंने यहाँ पे परफॉर्म किया छोटे बड़े की बात नहीं उन्होंने हमें एक चीज़ याद दिलाया कि जो हमारा चले कलान का मौसम बाहर का मौसम और हम लोगों को ये दिखाया कि हम आपसे दूर नहीं हम आपके साथ हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं हमने इनको अपने दिल से तो वैसे दूर नहीं किए हम इनको हर बार अपने दिल में रखे हुए As long as there is a story to tell and ideas to be aired, Oprah will flourish. Oprah revived the tradition of folk times and added some sweet lyrics to Kashmiri literature. Oprah has a great future and is liked by all. And now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. After its recent successful moon landing, India's space agency has launched a rocket to study the sun. It is the country's first such mission which aims to study solar winds that can cause disturbance on Earth, commonly seen as auroras. Scientists clapped during the Indian Space Research Organization's live broadcast as a rocket left a trail of smoke and fire in its wake. 
India's space agency later said on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, that the satellite was now in orbit. Named after the Hindi word for the sun, the Aditya L1 is designed to travel 9,30,000 miles over four months, far short of the sun, which is around 93 million miles from Earth. It is meant to stop its journey in a kind of parking lot in a space called a lag range point. Scientists hope to learn more about the effect of solar radiation on the thousands of satellites in orbit. Digital Week was organized with the aim of raising awareness about digitization among the locals in Srinagar. It was executed by the Jammu and Kashmir government and various private organizations. A series of workshops, seminars and training sessions were conducted to educate people about various aspects of digitization. Basically, uh, the uh, uh, 31st se lekar, 6th of this month, September, ke beech mein, pure jant ke mein, Digital Jant ke Week is being ja reached in which people are ja reaching out to people about the digital initiatives, hai, digital services, hai, online services that the government has initiated, the different departments have initiated so that people can be more effective from it, so that they can be more effective from it. Topics such as e-commerce, digital payments, cyber security and government initiatives like Digital India were discussed in detail. Experts from various fields were invited to share their insights and knowledge with the attendees. Government departments and organizations also played a crucial role in organizing the Digital Week. The event received positive feedback and generated enthusiasm among the attendees who expressed their eagerness to adopt digital solutions in their everyday lives. A restaurant in India's central Indore city has printed its menu in Braille for its blind and visually impaired customers to enable them to get a taste of life and foster a sense of independence. The Braille menu was launched by a restaurant named Guru Kripa where visually impaired children were invited for a treat. आज मुझे अपने पे बहुत प्राउड फील हो रहा है कि मैंने खुद ने खाना ऑर्डर किया है हम सब ने खुद ने खाना ऑर्डर किया है आज हमें बहुत प्राउड फील हो रहा है मैंने कभी कल्पना ही नहीं की थी कि मैं कभी होटल जाऊंगी या मेन्यू कार्ड देखूंगी खुद ऑर्डर करूंगी कभी नहीं सोचा था लाइफ में चेयरपर्सन ऑफ द यंग इंडियंस ग्रुप व्हिच हैज कम अप विद दिस आईडिया भावन गंदेलीवाल सेड इंडिया इज होम टू नियरली 27 मिलियन डिसेबल्ड पीपल they are in talks with more restaurants to create more such places that cater to visually impaired or blind customers. Moving on, let's take you to the Dargah of Sufi Saint Qasim Shaheed, which has been serving as a symbol of communal harmony for ages. Lately, the city of Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh observed a unique display of love and brotherhood as a swarm of devotees from different religious backgrounds gathered to celebrate the annual Urs commemoration of the Sufi saint in togetherness. Let's have a look. Lucknow, also referred to as the city of Nawabs, recently celebrated its annual Urs commemoration of the revered Sufi saint Qasim Shaheed in the heart of the town. The three-day Urs festival of Sufi saints drew devotees from all walks of life, who regardless of their religious identities and distinct faiths, registered their presence and offered sincere prayers at the Dargah. रेगुलर आ रहा हूं जब बाबा जी के आने का टाइम हो जाता है तो मैं आने जाता हूं जैसे उन्होंने कहा आ गया श्रद्धा की बात कहें तो अपनी अपनी श्रद्धा है यहां पे हमारा मन लगा हुआ है तो मैं आ रहा हूं और सभी की मुरादें पूरी हो रही हैं हमारी भी ऐसे कुछ मुरादें हैं धीरे-धीरे पूरी हो रही हैं मुरादें देखिए क्या है कि कि सभी के अलग-अलग किसी को घर चाहिए किसी को औलाद चाहिए ये सब जो भी अपनी तकलीफ हैं बाबा को सुनाते हैं बाबा उनको हल कर देते हैं बस यही दुआ है कि बस बाबा अपना हाथ रखे रहे हमारे पे सब पे रहम और करम अपनी बनाए रहें बस यही चाहते हैं During the Urs commemoration the dargah was decorated with colorful lights candles flowers and flags 
devouts remembering the saint's legacy of kindness generosity and wisdom paid their tributes and offered chadars at the holy shrine various events like public speeches by religious leaders and kavalis kept the devotees engaged in the divine atmosphere at the center of interfaith harmony यहाँ तो सभी धर्म के लोग आते हैं तो हम तो धर्म को गिना ही नहीं सकते कि कौन धर्म का नहीं आता है हर धर्म का आदमी आता है और यकीदे के साथ आता है यहाँ पर एक दुआ होती है सात साढ़े सात बजे दुआ होती रोज डेली ये हमारे नाना से चली आ रही है मेरे नाना का नाम था नन्ने में फिर वो दुआ फिर जो है मेरे फादर को मिली उनका नाम था जमीर अहमद वारसी सज्जादा नसी फिर वो हम लोग को मिली वो दुआ फिर जो है हम लोग साढ़े सात बजे रोज करते हैं यहाँ पर और हर क्या नाम जितने भी हैं हर धर्म के सब आते हैं और बृहस्पत को खास करके इतना आदमी आता है कि जो है बैठने के लिए जगह ही नहीं रहती है For ages, Sufism in India has cultivated love and harmony in the multi-religious society. The Sufism culture has been absorbed in different religious communities of India as a guiding light on the path of equality, harmony and brotherhood. And now we bring you some of the stories from recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Pikachu dancing event was recently organized in Japan's Yokohama city. These adorable Pokémon Pikachus dance to draw crowds. Pikachu is the most popular and beloved cartoon character among children. This year Pokémon World Championship was held supported by Yokohama city. It includes Pokémon and Pikachu March, Pokémon Card Game, Pokémon Go and Pokémon Unite to nominate world champion. The World Championship was held in Japan this year after previously taking place in the United States and the United Kingdom. Pikachu danced attractively while marching nearby Yokohama Museum. Many families and their kids were excited to meet with real Pikachu. A large number of visitors gathered at the event including tourists as well. こうやって手を振ったりしてくれてすごい楽しかったです。ピカチュウって英語で書かれたのが多くて、まあ後ろ向くとそのピカチュウの旧全国ナンバーが書いてあるのですごいポイントで、歩いてるとすごいすごい自慢自慢気に歩けてすごい楽しい。During the event, a Pokémon special parade of 100 family characters was held. Many Pokémon fans gathered to take pictures and cheered on the streets of Yokohama. At night many Pikachus attract the audience while performing the live show. The spectators prepared their smartphones to take a remembrance picture. In the night sky Pokémon characters were visualized by drone mapping. Japan's summer is sometimes affected by typhoons with heavy rains. On this day Pokémon Pikachu's power and enthusiasm of the children defeated typhoon. It was a memorable event. for every spectator Movie stars and celebrities including actor Mila Jovovich and artists Rita Ora and Leona Lewis turned up at the rosy red carpet of the Empha Gala to attend the fundraiser for AIDS research at the medieval building of Scuola Granda della Misericordia in Venice Actor Mila Jovovich recycled her red carpet look with a lilac vintage Prada dress she last wore in Cannes a decade ago. Away from Venice's picture-perfect canals, a sense of crisis pervades the movie-making business, with strikes by both the main US actors and writers' unions bringing much of the entertainment industry to a standstill. I'm wearing vintage Prada. I actually wore this 10 years ago in Cannes. And I just thought, my goodness, it can't just dust in my closet. I got to bring it out again. So, I'm really happy to be able to still fit in. I only had one baby last time I wore this, so doing good. 
The goal of the luxury evening was to raise money on behalf of EMFA, the Foundation for AIDS Research, which supports AIDS research, HIV prevention, treatment education and advocacy. Since 1985, EMFA said it has invested nearly 600 million US dollars in its programs and has awarded more than 3,500 grants to research teams around the world. The iconic Sydney Opera House hosted a different kind of event as people sat on the steps of the world-famous landmark to watch the Beyond Greatness Community Football Tournament. Played on the Opera House forecourt, the charity tournament brought together 40 local female players to compete for the trophy. I think that football is interesting is that it gives en fait confidence to young people. Il euh, y a des études qui ont montré que faire du sport euh, d'équipe permet de développer sa confiance. Et on sait, hein, lorsqu'on est adolescente, lorsqu'on est une jeune fille, jeune femme, on peut avoir ces moments où on manque euh, de confiance en soi. Mais euh, voilà, faire du sport permet de grandir en tant que femme et euh, de gagner euh, de, la, de, la, de la confiance et de faire développer aussi de, une communauté. The Australian Charity is the National Aboriginal Sporting Chance Academy which utilizes the power of structured sporting and cultural programs to harness the education, employment and health aspirations of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander young people. The New Zealand charity is BBM, which is run by people with lived experience in changing their mindsets and turning their lives around. BBM operates two free gyms in South Auckland and West Auckland and a gym in Tokoroa. Their aim is to reduce obesity amongst Maori and Pacific people through education, thereby enabling them to choose both a healthy and active lifestyle. Kerala, often referred to as God's own country, is renowned for its rich cultural values and traditions. Pulikali is one such vibrant and traditional folk art form in the Indian state of Kerala. It is also known as the Tiger Dance and usually performed during the annual harvest festival Onam. During the Pulikali celebrations, participants paint themselves as tigers and leopards and dance through the streets, creating a colourful and lively spectacle. This unique art form is a significant part of the state's cultural heritage. Have a look. Kerala which is also known as God's Own Country, prides itself on being the flag bearer for not just how a culture can respect its past, but also march forward with growth and progress. The traditional folk art forms in Kerala have evolved since the history of mankind and they are almost related to every phase of human life. Pulikali is one of the folk art forms performed during the celebrations of Kerala's Grand Harvest Festival Onam. During the celebrations, the artists paint their bodies to imitate tigers while performing Pulikali. Based on the theme Tiger Hunting, the artists role play tigers and hunters to manifest the encounter between man and the beast. This year there are only five teams from the shoot participating in Pulkali and we are a one of that. Uh, we have 51 uh, tigers ready for this festival with the mass participation of all the people from here. We are also getting relief from central government this year part of cultural department, cultural ministry and all parts of uh, people have supported us in this uh, event. So we are very happy and thankful to all the uh, government and uh, all the other public help. We want to do it better next year more. The main attractions of the event are the men shaking their pot bellies to the rhythm of traditional percussion instruments such as thavil, uduku and chenda. A tiger overlooking their pot bellies is painted using traditionally manufactured oil paints. Every year, the streets of Thrissur get swarmed with locals and tourists coming from foreign lands to witness the spectacle during Onam. I'm just so excited because this is the first time and my first time overall in India. So 
uh, I've never been before in India, but I'm very happy to start with this beautiful festival. The artists act as tigers and bring out the facial expressions of the wild animal on their bellies. Pulikali has emerged as a major tourist attraction over the years. This marvelous procession is witnessed by lakhs of visitors who come to celebrate the history, art and culture of the land from different corners of the world. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha and it's a goodbye from the entire production team. Yeah.